A trailer can make or break a game's reputation. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst video game trailers. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at what we consider to be the worst, most asinine video game trailers of all time, and having a good laugh at them along the way. Number 10, Time Splitters Rewind. Way back in 2012, some fans of the woefully underappreciated Time Splitter series were granted permission to create an elaborate mod using CryEngine 3. Well, it looks like they actually pulled it off because lo and behold, we have a trailer. Yeah, it's just too bad it kind of sucks. What we're treated to is nearly two minutes of green crystals floating through space like some kind of crappy screensaver, followed by the Time Splitters Rewind logo and the release year. There's no weapons, no gameplay, no, there's nothing really. While we're hyped for some more time splitters, this trailer has done nothing to further that excitement. Number nine, Mighty Number Nine. You, looking at the screen, let me ask you a question. Do you like awesome things that are awesome? Has there ever been a bigger disappointment from Kickstarter? After being initially praised for its concept, Mighty Number no. 9 eventually lost the faith of its potential fans via numerous delays and an appalling trailer which damn near infuriated everyone. While the gameplay admittedly doesn't look too bad, because we hadn't played it yet, the trailer's voiceover is pretty damn cringe, complete with some spectacularly failed lines which only made the fanbase kind of upset, like the infamous prom night joke. Stuff that'll make you faster and stronger and make the bad guys cry like an anime fan on prom night. The trailer was so dreadful that the CEO of co-developer Inti Creates even took to Twitter to publicly disown it, calling it unforgivable. Mighty number nine. Number eight, Saul Brain, Night of Darkness. Okay, we gotta ask, is this some kind of joke? Well, we might have forgiven this had it been a rough demo or something. This looks to be an official trailer, and it's one of the worst we've ever seen. Someone actually sat down, watched this, and thought, yeah, looks good. Good job, everyone. We don't know what's worse, really. The iMovie graphics, the looping gameplay footage of a character walking against terrible backdrops with constant texture pop in, or the fact that this trailer was actually released on the official PlayStation YouTube channel. On top of all that, it was later discovered that many of the in-game assets were straight up stolen. Who okayed this? Number 7, Skylight Free Range 2, Gokdwine or something. Alright Sony, you got us. Okay, this one's a joke, right? Oh dear. In a move that's honestly completely baffling to us, Sony actually advertised this game on their YouTube channel too. A game that looks terribly dated even by PlayStation 1 standards. I mean, what do you even do in this game? Because it looks like you just kind of walk around. Is it even completed? Why does this exist? While we're sure that some people will ironically try it out and report back to us, the rest of us are just here to stare in total bewilderment. Number 6, Life of Black Tiger. Okay, it's really not funny anymore. Was Sony's YouTube account hacked or something? Maybe someone wants to go over there and make sure that they're all right. We don't know how this one slipped past quality control. Because not only do the graphics and gameplay look like total unplayable garbage, but there are even bugs in the friggin' trailer. How do you show bugs in your trailer? How does someone honestly approve this? What's even funnier is that Sony advertised this game as a realistic and vivid experience. Let that sink in a second. Number five, Bombshell. They seek to strip us of the things that make our lasting democracy so great under the guise of a unified earth. This trailer definitely didn't drop a bombshell on us. We'll tell you that much. The trailer is nothing but a, well, it's a graphics showcase, we guess, as we watch the camera pan around Bombshell's mechanical exterior as she watches TV. Great. Then we're treated to what's supposed to be a badass moment of her riding in front of explosions, but we're kind of left laughing at the ridiculous stock music and the amateur explosion effects. The resulting response was so toxic that 3D Realms decided to scrap what they had and just start from scratch. Number 4, Duke Nukem Trilogy.
explosions, guns, Duke Nukem. Are you pumped yet? Because we sure as hell aren't. This infamous trailer was actually shown at E3 in 2008. And while we think that they were going for pure, unfiltered testosterone, what we were left with instead was one of the goofiest trailers in existence. Who wants some? Rather than showing any gameplay, we were instead left with a slideshow that pretty much a 10 year old could have made, consisting of Duke's theme song, explosions, a ridiculous floating picture of Duke, and the titles for three and a half friggin' minutes. On top of that, only one of the three planned games was released, and the results were not good. Number three, Champion Jockey, G1 Jockey and Gallop Racer. Let's be serious, all right? Jockey video games seems like they would only appeal to a very niche market. Trailers like this aren't gonna do them any services either in the eyes of the mainstream player base. Literally everything about this trailer's bad. First, there's the horrendous music. Then there's the amateur graphics that were probably made on a Mac in about five minutes. The game itself, by the way, looks like garbage. And let's not forget the clearly embarrassed actor who was forced to gallop and is trying his hardest not to laugh the entire time. You know you messed up when even your actors can't keep a straight face. Number two, we dare. You know what's fun? Playing Wii games with your friends. You know what's dumb? Playing Wii games that are just thinly veiled excuses for mild sexual behavior. This trailer immediately made the rounds on the internet, as everyone laughed and cringed as we watched terrible actors partake in mildly sexual actions with a Wii controller. The trailer wants so badly to be quirky and sexy, but it comes across as really childish instead. The trailer was pulled in the United States, probably because it was so bad, and the game was never released in the US or the UK. Good job, marketing team, good job. Number one, Wolf Quest. How could it be anything but Wolf Quest? This is the granddaddy of terrible video game trailers and it still retains its spot as the king all these years later. <laughs> the trailer truly is a combination of everything that makes a laughably bad advertisement. You have your rather hilarious transition from live action to embarrassing graphics. You have your atrocious looking gameplay. Throw in some awful child actors who literally growl at the camera. And do not forget the goofy repetitive stock music. This is just so awful that we kinda love it. Wolf Quest, can you survive the call of the wild? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.